Well, it was a big night for Pilgrim High School in Warwick as the Patriots took on Tollgate in the school's homecoming game. But the school was left scrambling after a code violation left them with nowhere to seat the fans. 12 News reporter Amanda Pitts is in Warwick with more. Pilgrim High School's homecoming game looks a bit different this year. Their bleachers were closed due to code violations, but that didn't keep spectators away. They got creative and they're watching from the track. Say louder. Go Pilgrim. Patriot pride not bogged down by closed off stands. We met with the students and the students I talked to right away. They were kind of like, well, well, let's make this best we can. Students, parents and other spectators flooding the track for the homecoming playoff game while the bleachers sat empty. Completely. It's totally different. Reminds me of Pop Warner, <laughs> you know, where we used to all sit in the chairs around. The stands date back to 1965 and were closed earlier this week after a parent from another team raised a red flag saying the bleachers weren't up to code. Spacing between the floor and the seats is required to be no greater than four inches. Pilgrims is 18 inches. It is what it is, and if it's going to make it safer for kids and whatnot. But as long as the kids get to play, yeah. you know what I mean? Some think this could have waited until after the big game. I understood in a way, but I wish they kept them because of the homecoming. They just should have kept them for the rest of the season. Football season. Jessica Walsh and other pickup truck drivers taking advantage of the lack of bleachers, getting front row seats at the fence. Tailgate in trucks. Finding the good in an unfortunate situation. They made a good situation, a bad situation better, I guess. Hopefully they just make them safer so that we can still enjoy football the way it's supposed to be. So Now I'm told bringing the bleachers up to code is in the hands of this school department and they're trying to do so in time for the next big game, Thanksgiving in a few weeks. In Warwick, Amanda Pitts, 12 News.